Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create interactive spotlight effect in Figma. But before we start, hurry up and check out the self purchase under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing you want to do here is you want to go to figma.com, open up a new project here, and you want to add the colors that you want to use. So specifically, we'll be using this for colors here. So I recommend you to uh, basically first create four squares in your project here and add your colors. So first is the two colors that I want to use, the background color, as well as the color of our text later on. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to add a frame here. Let's go and click on frame and at the right side, let's go ahead and add a desktop frame here. Now for our desktop, we want to actually set this to the color of our background. So let's go ahead and set this to our background color. And from here, let's go ahead and add our text. So this is just going to be simple text here. So let's just type in uh, something that we could use. So as, a, as an example, I'll be using this text here. Let's go ahead and position it accordingly here. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to change the color itself. Let's go ahead and click on this one and select the color that we have. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to change the actual uh, look for it. So the layer section, go ahead, to, uh, go ahead and go to that. We want to set this to screen. So make sure to set this to screen. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and add a, a circle into our project. Let's go ahead and click on any of the section here. So we'll be using this circle here. And from the circle, we want to set our first color. So in this case, let's go ahead and choose our first color here. And we now need to add another one. Let's go and select this one and add our second color. Now, once we've added our second color, let's go ahead and add our effects. Let's go and click on the plus button here. And we want to set this to a uh, layer blur. And you want to set your layer blur here to at least 50, but you could decrease or increase this depending on uh, your needs. So same thing for the first one. Let's go and add our effect and let's go choose layer blur. Set this to 50. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we now need to actually blend this to uh, these two sections here. And make sure that the, do this two section here actually set their layers to actual screen. So let's go set this to screen. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and uh, actually drag them outside our desktop. And you want to actually make a copy of this layer here. Let's go ahead and make a copy of it. Let's go ahead and drag it down here. And from here, we want to actually set the first section here. Let's go ahead and group. So let's just, uh, first, let's go ahead and remove that. We first need to group this one. Let's go ahead and click on group selection. Now make a copy of it in here. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and highlight these two sections here. And we want to actually create a component. So let's just click on the create component set option. And from here, let's go ahead and select the first component here. So this one, and you want to set the opacity here to zero. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and select the prototype at the top right here. And again, we want to point our first uh, layer uh, group here to our second group. And we want to change this to on ho or while hovering. Now, from here, make sure to set this to Smart Animate. Choose Ease and Out and choose 300 MS. Now, once you've done that, we are good. So let's go ahead and start adding this into our desktop here. So in this case, let's go to our assets. Let's go and drag our component here. And as a, a temporary thing, I would suggest to go to design here. So make sure you've chosen your component here. And you want to set the pass through as 100% just temporarily here. So we'll be able to see what we are going to do here. So in this case, go ahead and make a copy of your newly added component here until you have uh, you filled every section here. So this might take a while. So just add them as much as you can, as, as long as you cover the whole thing. So in this case, I'll add another one. I'm going to go to layers. I want to group, uh, select every uh, component that we have right now. So let's go ahead and reposition it. And once you've repositioned it, what we need to do next is we need to make a copy. Let's go ahead and hold on out, move it down. As you can see right now. So it's a bit, let's go ahead and move it up above here. Again, hold on alt. And we should be now be good let's go ahead and make sure that we actually intersect the colors here but once you've done that you could go ahead and select every component here and you want to actually go back into the pass through here and set this to zero now once you've done that you want to right click on this one and you want to actually click on group selection 
And once you group this two section here, you want to select these two sections, as we can see right now, the text as well as the group here. And you want to click on the uh, use as mask option here. And once you've actually done that, what we need to do next is we just need to start playing this. So let's just click on the uh, prototype here at the top right. And once we actually have it, as you can see, we now have that spotlight effect on our uh, project here. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.